is up my shred heads welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to change the brakes on the super 73 rx but first i want to thank all you guys so much for helping me reach 1k i cannot believe i got here so fast if it wasn't for you guys i would not be here thank you guys so much i appreciate all the support since we hit 1k we're going to be doing that 1000 subscriber giveaway so head over to my instagram and just be on the lookout for that guys all right guys let's get started so um i went on the super 73's website to see if they had uh the tectro brakes but they don't have them in stock at all and i had no clue that the brakes are kind of just like brakes on cars you can use any brand just got to find the right size you know so these are trps and uh the number is q20.11 i'll put the link down below um, i got these on ebay and they were pretty cheap like 20 bucks and might have even been cheaper than that so be on the lookout for that link down there below make sure you guys have a three millimeter hex wrench and a five millimeter hex wrench for this job also some needle nose pliers just in case so the first step you want to do is remove these two with the five millimeter hex wrench Make sure you just set that somewhere where you won't lose it, because I probably will here. <laughs> so now pull it off of there very carefully. These brakes actually don't look too bad, but I do want to change them before that group ride. And now for our three millimeter, actually, first you want to remove this little piece of metal right here. There you go. All right, so now here's our three millimeter hex set, hex key, three millimeter hex key. Take off this little nut right there. Set that somewhere safe. And then I think all you do is just push, push them right out. Just like that. Let's check out these brake pads. Oh my God. 2,000 miles and there's still life left on these. That's insane. I'll just keep those in case. Actually, let's compare. Here's the new pads, Q20.11s. You can find these anywhere online. Um, there's so many different brands. Little holder. Let's make sure these look alike. Yeah, they were pretty much the same exact exact break and it looks like they just branded them like it looks the same oh wow I did wear a lot of brake pad off all right so this little metal holder you're going to want to put it on the inside there that's actually holding the brake see how it's like on the pad like exactly on the pad same thing with the other side I like to kind of hold it so it doesn't slip out like tight and then just slide it in there nice nicely and get the little bolt slide it right through We made it through tighten it up after this i'm going to actually show you guys how to bed the brakes also all right so that's in there it's kind of thin like it might not even fit all right back to it so what i had to do is pull the brake pads back out and i just pushed the pistons back in by hand i don't have a wedge to to get that in there but homebrew andrew told me if you have that problem you can get like a, a like a wooden wedge and you can kind of push it in there to push the, the pistons back. And it looks like it's still kind of, I still got to keep going. All right, so it looks like I opened up the pistons enough, hopefully. It looks like there's a little bit of piston sticking out on this side, but we'll see, hopefully that works out. If not, I'll have to take it back off and then re-push the pistons out. So what I did is stuck this in there and kind of turn it sideways, try not to scratch them up take it nice and easy put this little guy back on let's see if i can do it by hand jam it back in there there we go that's good all right so next step is try to slide this bad boy on nice and easy 
it looks like it's going to work. Grab your bolts. For some reason this back one's not easy to screw on. I don't know why. I don't know if this stuff got inside of there or what. It's crazy how close that bolt is to the rotor. So what I'm going to do is not get it on fully, fully tight. It's going to be loose enough to where it can still move around. That way we can adjust the brake. All right, so it still can move around. So what you're going to want to do, grab the rear, let me make sure I'm not losing stuff. Grab the rear brake lightly. See how it kind of centers itself out. To me, it looks like that's still going to scrape, but we'll see. That's perfect, guys. Perfect. The, the wheel didn't slow down at all. Awesome. All right, guys, let's get, uh, let's get the front brakes on, and then I'll show you guys how to bed it. Don't take these bolts off. You're going to take these two, top and bottom, all right? Ooh, guys, that's a tight one. And, guys, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. When you remove the brakes, do not touch these. So when you remove your brake calipers, don't hit the brakes at all. You're going to mess your brakes up. I guess they use like red Loctite on there. You guys are crazy. I know you should probably reuse Loctite again. I'd use the blue stuff, not the red. There we go. Set these bolts aside. Darn, the front brakes don't look bad at all. Let's see how the pistons are looking. Actually, they're nice and pushed back, so I'm happy about that. I don't have to worry about the pistons. Remember, take off this little guy. Now that's out. Cool. Guys, I'm so excited for this group ride on Saturday. And guys, make sure if you guys are, are close to the New Jersey, uh, Cape May area, or even around Lewis, Delaware, Rehoboth, um, you could ride with my girlfriend and I in the ferry to Cape May. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. I really, really can't wait. I'm excited for that. It's going to be my first group ride, and it's going to be with a lot of people. How cool is that? Never had a group ride in my life. Barely ride with people, but my first one's going to be insane with awesome, cool people. A lot of Puerto Ricans, too, which makes me really happy. <laughs> Boricua love right here, man. It's cool that all the support I've been getting from this uh, Latin community. Thank you, guys. You guys rock. Hopefully we can hang out sometime and uh, eat some Puerto Rican food together. All right, so what I like to do, I hold it like that and then I'll put my finger up here to keep that metal piece from sliding up, then kind of hold it together. At least that's how I do it. This is my first time ever doing the brakes, so bear with me, guys. Hopefully I'm doing everything kind of right. <laughs> I feel like it's right, it's working. I mean, the, the rear brake worked out. And it's feeling like the front one's going to too. Nice. That's a good, uh, nice and spaced out there. Hey guys, answer down below and let me know. Why do you guys think the pistons pushed out on the back one like that? Um, I've never pulled out the, the pads and squeezed the brakes ever. So I have no idea how or why that would happen. We'll never forget this little piece of metal. Boom. It's in there. It's in there. All right, nice and even. Loose enough so, to where it still moves around. All right, make sure they're still a little bit loose. Oh, I still can tighten that up a little bit more. Let's kind of hold it down some. Loosen that up just a tad. And then, like we did on the rear, grab the front brake lightly and then tighten. While still holding the brake, you want to get that nice and tight. There we go. Let's see how spaced out it looks. Looks like the top might be rubbing. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so that means that we're still getting a little grab somewhere. So what we do 
We just kind of see where it's grabbing. Looks like this part right up here. I don't want to loosen it up again. Top and bottom. Too. I feel like nothing really changed. Yeah, much better. Sweet. All right, cool. All right, now we're gonna pack all this stuff away and then we're gonna get to bedding the brakes. All right, guys, so I'm gonna bed the brakes one at a time. We're gonna start with the rear one. So, what I'm gonna do is get to about 15 miles an hour and just slow down while holding the brakes really lightly to one mile an hour. And I'm gonna repeat that 10 to 15 times. So we're gonna do one with you guys and then I'll do the rest off camera. So we're on 15, hold it lightly till we hit one mile an hour. All right, so I'm gonna repeat that 15 times over and I'm gonna do the same thing with the front. All right guys, we're going on our 15th For the rear brake and then we're gonna start the same process on the front brake So make sure you don't come to a complete stop. All right, so that's 15 times bedded on the rear All right, I did the front 15 times. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let the brakes cool down a little bit, about 15 minutes. I'm not even gonna touch them at all. And then we'll get back to the next step, which is uh, cruising about 15 to 20 miles an hour. I'm gonna go 20 miles an hour, and then you hit the brakes a little more firmly. And again, don't come to a complete stop. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna start with the rear brake. So let's get up to 20 miles an hour, and then we're gonna hold it a little bit more firmly this time. And again, not come to a complete stop. We're going to slow down to about two miles an hour. All right, so we're at 21, whatever. So not a complete stop, so that's one. All right, guys, we're going on 20 here. 20 miles an hour, 20th time. And again, don't come to a complete stop. There we go. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the front, go up to 20 miles an hour, firmly hold the brake a little bit harder than I did on the first uh, 15 times. So let's do it. I'm gonna do one with you guys and then I'll do the rest off camera. So that's 21. Still rolling a little bit. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, that's 20 times. Let's see if uh, the brakes uh, squeal at all. I, let, actually, let me, uh, let the rotors cool down a little bit and then we'll see uh, if the brakes squeal at all. All right guys, here we go, let's check it out. Oh yeah, the brakes work again, I'm happy. That rules. Yep, they work, no squealing either. Hey guys, remember when you guys are using the brakes, do 60 on the back, 40 on the front, meaning how tight you, you squeeze it. That way you're not gonna flip over if you squeeze the front too hard. And also, you might wanna use two fingers to use the brakes to make it uh, easier to not fall. Cause I've seen people like freak out and they need to grab and slam the brakes and flip over the bars. But yeah, man, I'm pretty stoked. Got the brakes for the group ride on Saturday. It's gonna be a good time. I'm not gonna have to worry about my brakes failing on me. I'm pretty stoked guys, pretty stoked. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing down below. Also, if you want to help my channel grow, check out those links down below. You get $100 off any model Super 73 bike, $200 off a Huck Cycle, and also check out the One Stop Board Shop link down below. Any accessory you buy on there or board, um, one wheel accessories, Evolve, you get 5% off using code SHREDDY. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and hit that notification. Uh, where is it? To be notified when I'm making videos next. 
Again, thank you guys for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. You guys are all awesome, and I can't wait to keep making more content for you guys. Are you ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button down below? In three, two, one, hit that subscribe button, heads down. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next ride.